Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number three from this International A Level Cambridge um, 9709 um, paper one from the Pure Mathematics One specimen paper. Um, and this question here is about arithmetic progressions or arithmetic series. And they're told we're told that an arithmetic progression has a first term seven and the nth term is 84, and the 3 nth term is 245, find the value of n. Now, with the Cambridge um, syllabus, um, or the Cambridge exam, comes a formula sheet, which looks like this. And there's a lot more, actually, in the formula sheet for Cambridge than there is in the Excel exam. They give you a lot more information. Um, for example, the quadratic formula and, you know, in terms of um, trigonometry, they give you all the identities in terms of differentiation. They give you differentiation, the differentials of, you know, all of the different functions. Whereas in the Edexcel one, there's a lot less given. All right. But um, anyway, one of the things they give us is the equations we need for arithmetic series and for geometric series. So for this particular question, what we need is the information about arithmetic series. Okay, so here we have the information about arithmetic series. And here we have, um, this is the formula that's dealing with a particular term. So the nth term of a arithmetic series is given by the formula a plus n minus 1 times d. Now a stands for the first term. Okay, and we can see that the first term here is given as a as 7. So we know from this that a equals 7. And uh, d stands for the common difference, which we don't know. And n stands for the particular term that we're on. So in the first instance, we're, we're, we're told that the nth term is 84. So we're told that un is 84. Okay, so here we have... 84 equals 7 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so that's the information that we can take from this first situation here. And the 3 nth term, so we can say that u3n, we're told, is equal to 245. And again, we know the first term is 7 and d we don't know. So we can use the same formula. We can say that u3n, which is 245, is equal to a which is 7 plus now the term we're on is the 3n term so we're going to write instead of n 3n minus 1 times d so we, here we have two equations and we need to find the value of n okay so we have a pair of simultaneous equations here that we can solve now there's different ways we can solve this but if i take equation one and i just um, subtract seven from both sides in order to simplify this, I'll end up with n minus 1 times d equals 84 minus 7. 84 minus 7 is equal to um, 77. Okay, and if I take equation 2, I do the same thing. I subtract 7 from both sides. I have here 3n minus 1 times d is equal to 245 minus 7, which is going to be 238. 238. So these two equations now, I can solve them. I need to find what n is, so I don't need d. So I can eliminate d, and there's a nice way of eliminating d here, by taking these two equations and dividing them. If I divide these two equations, if I take equation 1 divided by equation 2, what will happen is the d will cancel out. I have n minus 1 times d divided by 3n minus 1 times d is equal to 77 over 238. And the d cancels out. So now I have a, I have this basically algebraic fraction where I have n um, as the only unknown. And I can solve this. Now 77 over 238, I think that should simplify. Let's see, 77 over 238. Yep, 11 over 34. So I have n minus 1 over 3n minus 1 equals 11 over 34. Okay, was that 34? 
Yes, it was. Now I can um, cross multiply. I can say that 34 times n minus 1 is equal to 11 times 3n minus 1. So I'm left with 34n minus 34 equals 33n minus 11. Minus 11. 11 times 1 is 11. Okay, so now I can solve this simple linear equation. I can subtract 33n from both sides and add 34 to both sides. So I end up with 34n minus 33n equals 34 minus 11. Minus 11 plus 34. Okay, so that gives me n equals 34 minus 11 is 23. So n is equal to 23. And that solves this equation. That solves this problem. We found the value of n. So we've set this up. As I said, by using this formula here, which is dealing with the term. We're not dealing with the sum. They didn't tell us about the sum of the uh, you know, terms. They told us about a particular term. The nth term is 84, and the 3 nth term is three two four five. Don't get confused by this being in this algebraic form. You know, if it says the nth term is 84, it might say the 8th term is 84. Then we, we know that the 8th term is going to be when n is equal to 8. And that's going to equal to 84. And the 3 nth term, they, they just use this algebraic kind of expression. So you just replace the n with whatever that term is in the formula. That's all. So 245 equals 7 plus 3n minus 1 times d. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. They didn't ask us to find the common difference. If they did, we could find it by just replacing the n over here with 23 and find what d is. Okay, but they didn't ask us to do that, so that's fine. All right, so there's the answer to question number three. I think that's... All of three, that's right. So a simple question on algebraic, um, on arithmetic progressions, series. Um, now, this is something which, um, you know, could have been solved in other ways as well. We could have expanded this and dealt with it like a normal kind of um, simultaneous equation kind of situation. Um, but I think this is a nice, easy way of dealing with it. Okay, I mean, I could have said, let's make D the subject of both of these. I'd have D equals 77 over N minus 1, and D equals 2 over 238 over 3N minus 1, and then equated the two, and then I'll get the same thing in the end, but this is a nice and neat way of doing it. So there's the answer to this question. Other questions from this particular paper, which is a specimen paper of the uh, P1 from the Cambridge syllabus um, 9709 can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of series in P1 of Cambridge can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video here which will help you to find what you need from my channel um, and navigate it in a efficient way. Thank you for watching and see you soon.